Hello and welcome, Kendra Morgan here, and I'm excited to share a brand new monthly card making series for TLC Designs called Mystery Spin and Win. That's also a giveaway where three lucky viewers and commenters can win discounts to the TLC Designs online shop and a free digital paper pack. Be sure to watch to the end to find out how to enter. So the way this works is that I'm taking a list of all of the stamps, dies, and paper that are offered at TLC Designs and I've put them into a spreadsheet. I'm copying and pasting them into commentpicker.com's name picker wheel so it will randomly select which ones will be used to make today's project. First, we'll start with the stamp set. The list here on the spreadsheet includes both physical and digital stamp sets from TLC Designs. And so I'm just gonna copy these over and I'm gonna paste them here into this box. And then I'm gonna shuffle the names up here real quick. And then we will spin the wheel and see which stamp set we're gonna be working with. And so the randomly selected stamp set chosen is the blessing stamp. And then next we're going to spin for the die set. So I'm gonna clear out the box here. I'm gonna go back over to my spreadsheet and now I'm going to the dies sheet and I'm gonna copy these over and just paste them just like I did a second ago for the stamps. And so I've listed all of the dies, including the interactive dies that are available at TLC Designs. We'll shuffle them up and spin the wheel. And so the die set that will be used for today's project is the Star Spangled Confetti die set. And lastly, we'll do the same thing for the digital paper packs or physical paper packs. And copy those over. Need to clear that out first. And we'll paste these in, shuffle them up, spin the wheel. And the papers that will be used is Blooming Medley. So now that we have the three products chosen for the project, I'm gonna have to figure out how to make a card using those three products. This is the Blessings Digital Stamp Set that I printed out on my printer. I just love this image of the fairy with the baby. It's just so sweet. I printed a couple of different sizes since I wasn't sure what I would be making at this point. Um, but I also included the sentiments and they say, I know what love is because of you. I think about you every day and I wouldn't trade you for all the mothers in the world. And then this is the die set here. This is called Star Spangled Confetti. It has this outer star shaped die and then a smaller one that has a double stitched edge. And then this piece here cuts out a design. And then there are four smaller stars. And on the back of the packaging, it shows how the pieces will look cut out. And then here is the Blooming Medley Paper Pack. The papers are five and a half by eight and a half inches, so they can be used for A2 sized cards or slimline cards. But the paper pack is sold both in physical and digital format where you can print it yourself or order it to be shipped to you. And there's 12 different designs. And I've used this paper pack in the past, so some of the pieces are cut smaller. But these are the different patterns in this paper pack. Lots of florals, and then there's this wood grain pattern here in the same four colors. So you see the blue, the purple, the orange, and the pink. And then I pulled a few of these patterns out that I think will work for my project. But let's switch back to the image. So first thing I'm going to do is color the image with Copic markers. And I've tried to match up the colors as best I could, the colors that were in the paper with some Copic marker colors. And I tested them out on a scrap piece of cardstock and I labeled them so that you can easily see what I'm using. And I'm also putting it right there on my glass mat where I have that glare. <laughs> and so um, I'm gonna zoom this in so that you can see my coloring a little bit better. I'm gonna zoom it in a little closer. And just to let you know, I have sped this video up quite a bit. So I'm starting with her skin. I'm using E53 
for the darker shade and then I'll be coming in with E50 for the lighter shade. And so with the E53 I'm outlining around the face and on the places where there should be shadows. And then I'm going to be adding E50 and blending all of that together. And then for her hair, I wanted to try to bring in some of that orange or red shade. So I'm going to be using E97 and E95 for the hair. And you'll see me coloring the hair in, ju in just a moment. And then for the flowers and her dress, I end up using the blues, the B24 and B21 for the lighter shade. I used Y02 for the center of the flowers and then I colored the other flowers with R05 as my darker shade and R02 as the lighter shade and then I colored the leaves with YG17 and then I added a little bit more shading to their faces again with the E53 and E50. Now for the fairy wings I started with R05 and then I added R02. And then I'll be outlining the wings with Y06 and Y02 and coloring the baby's wings with YG11. And then I fussy cut this image out using my Fiskar Spring Assist scissors. Now at this point, I wasn't exactly sure how I was going to incorporate the star dies, but I figured I'd start out by cutting them out of this wood grain paper. And after playing around and just trying to figure out what to do, I decided to layer these up to create some flowers. And at first I tried adding some embossing glaze on top of the die cuts. You can see those at the top of the screen here, but while it, I thought it was really neat, I just didn't think it looked right with me trying to make these stars into flowers. So instead I decided to cut out another one of the double stitched pieces from the purple, the purple wood grain paper. And in order to make the match, I ink blended the edges with some blueprint sketch distress oxide ink. So I did this to both pieces since I'll be layering them up. So now for my card, I'm going to start with the layers here. I'm trimming a piece of light green cardstock to four by five and a quarter inches. And then I'm taking this floral pattern paper here and trimming that to be three and three quarters by five inches. And then for my card base, I have a sheet of white heavyweight cardstock that I cut in half lengthwise to make a top folding A2 size card base. And then I just glued the layers down on top. Now for the flowers, I offset the two layers before gluing them down flat on the card. And then I decided to give the fairy image a little bit of dimension by adding some foam tape to the back. So 
So I removed the adhesive backing and then I placed it in the center of the flower. Now for the sentiment, I used a stitched banner die that I had in my stash to cut out the sentiment that says I wouldn't trade you for all the mothers in the world that I had printed out earlier. And then I popped this up with that same foam tape as well. And then to add the finishing touches, I used some yellow, little yellow posies bling to place in the centers of some of the flowers that's in that pattern paper. And then I also added some Nuvo crystal drops in morning dew to the baby's eyes. What that does is it dries clear and it just makes it shiny. And then I added some ice glazed stickles glitter glue to parts of the fairy's wings to give it some glitter. And then after doing this, I realized it wasn't really enough sparkle to me. So I added more along the yellow edges and to the centers of the flowers on the image itself that I, that I colored with the Copic markers. And then there were a few places that I touched up with her hair using the E97 Copic marker. And this finishes off my card. I think it turned out really cute. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Also tell me where you're from. So now it's time for the spin of the wheel for the discounts that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. So to enter to win the discounts, you'll need to comment on this video on the TLC Designs channel. So this video is being posted on my channel as well at Cards by Kendra. But the winners will be announced on the first and third Thursdays of each month on the live stream with Tammy on the TLC Designs YouTube channel. So be sure to subscribe and turn on those notifications if you're not already a subscriber. Now if you're watching this video on my channel, Cards by Kendra, you can win a free digital paper pack of your choice just for commenting. And the winner will be randomly selected a week from the date of the posting of this video. So that'll be March 27th. And that's when I will reply to the winner's comment for the digital paper pack. And the, of course, the winner will have 48 hours to claim the prize. So let's go ahead and spin for the three discounts that will be given to three lucky commenters on the TLC Designs channel during Tammy's Live on Thursdays. The first discount is 20%. And then the second discount is 5%. And then one more time we'll spin. And the third discount is 20% also. So just to recap, you'll want to comment on this video on the TLC Designs YouTube channel to be entered to win the discounts. And then to be entered to win the digital paper pack of your choice, you'll want to comment on this video on the Cards by Kendra YouTube channel. I want to thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.